Hey everyone, this is John from RVA Katana in Richmond, Virginia. We are about to do some live cutting here with a lot of different swords. Let's go ahead and show off. Mark is doing the whole zookeeper thing and, and uh, sweeping oh, stuff up? away. How you doing? Oh, How hold you on. Doing? My phone, I think, just crashed. Oh my God, your phone sucks. Holy fire, Jin A. My phone just crashed. What the pixel? heck? Pixel? Yeah. Hey, Joe Story. Great hey. to have you here as always. Pixel is a shit. I don't have problems with pixels except sometimes. Except sometimes. We have the mirrors and it's a reflection of our junk box. We go cover that stuff up. So, anyway, yeah, we're going to be cutting live in a few minutes. Uh, hey, Kratos, great to have you here. Shoshin Hana. Artie Percy. Hey, how's it going, man? So, we are going to be cutting with this. This is the Shoshin Hana. It is a from Taitsuki. So high. Uh, no one wants to see you pose with the sword, man. I don't want to Look see you pose with the See, luckily they can only see your upper body, and I guess they can see the reflection of you doing like kind of like that whatever you're doing. That has a beautiful hummel there. This, hummel. They did, look at the boshi on it. They did a really good job on carrying the hummel. What are you listening? Trying to get, you're trying to get started. Yeah. This because like TikTok just like auto starts playing stuff. Oh, I thought know. John listens to like soft jazz. I do. Oh, yeah. What's nothing wrong with soft jazz, dude? Everything's wrong with soft jazz. Get in touch with your manhood. Okay, people. Sorry about that. <laughs> Um, let's see. There's a joke I built there. an Amazon doc. Y'all got them. So, uh, Gage Watson. I built the Amazon doc. Y'all got there. She was a beauty. Okay. All right. Sorry about that here on uh, TikTok. I'm not sure what happened. Um, my phone sh crashed and here we are. Scott coming out of the closet. Hey, nothing <laughs> wrong with that. We, we do not. We are all good with that. We do not use slurs here. We want to have a very welcome clean community for everybody. Yeah, I can it. Yeah. And Scott is in touch with you know I don't know, even pack it, get your jacket. You know, you know, so you <laughs> All right, go ahead, go ahead. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and take a, take a look at the show scene again. This is from Taitsuki. So it's Taitsuki. Taitsuki is a new uh, a new forge we brought online. So we've been debating it for a while, and John pulled the trigger, and here we are. They gave us a good deal for the first batch, of which we sold out of. <laughs> Within like 24 hours, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah basically. Hours. Yeah. Basically overnight. We have a pre-order open on our website, rvacathon.com. We're not gouging. Which... We're actually doing it for under their MSRP. Yeah. So uh, 575 for the pre-order. It will take about three months to get here. Yeah, the leather are. handle looks wicked. Does it feel like cloud hammer comfortable? What do you guys think? Yeah, you know, it has that. It's a uh, good question. It has that like supple, like Matt Jensen says, leather jacket leather. Here's a cloud hammer to put it next to. So yeah. it's very much that supple kind of leather. But the wrap style here is very, very nice. And it, yeah, the way you're style. handling that, Scott, makes me wonder. I think it they've looks... done a really good job on the hand. I think that's where they get a lot of feedback from customers. Yeah, the leather feels a little puffier on this one. So it has a little more bulk to it. Whereas on the cloud hammer, it's more flattened out. But these are both deco shaped, but you can see. Uh, flip this one upside down. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> so both are deco shaped uh, ska. And you can see. Bit. You can see the uh, sh the uh, mine, which is the tight skis, a little little fatter at the top. Um, Scott's a little fatter at the top. Just uh, note that everybody fatter at the top. But yeah, I'm. I'm We're talking about his ego. It's, I don't know what you guys are thinking. But I mean, things to look hey, for. Chad. Things to look for. Smooth, hey, Jill. smooth transitions there, and Cloud Hammer is getting better at that too. Smooth transitions here, small knots, and even for this leather, it's hard to make small knots. And they've mm -hmm. done it, and you're not moving this. These you're not moving this. These diamonds are not moving. So they've they, they've they've listened. I think uh, you know a lot. A lot of us are just really you know so anal about a you know tight wrap. Anal about tight, <laughs> dude. <laughs> hey, uh, I just we just got jokes tonight. It's one of those nights. Nice. We got jokes every night. I walk my I walk myself right up there. But anyway. We're really, really happy with it. Uh, one thing that's interesting is the size of the tsuba. So uh, for those of you that prefer a, a medium to smaller size tsuba, that's what you have here. So it's not a... Here's not something a little more standard size here. Yeah. Yo, J, S, and M, and Jill. Steve, what's up with the S, and M? All right. We are close for that around here. Okay, so what are we going to cut with first? Might as well, we have it. You have it in the hand. Go ahead. Might as well. We're gonna start with beach mats here, but then we're gonna move our way up to actual. Oh, Scott and Mark S and M. <laughs> okay, Steve. More than I wanted. To... Yeah. Yeah, nah. I'm married. <laughs> I'm getting there. Hey, whatever you want to do, man. Not judging. So the initial cut with the choshing. This is the first cut, a first Taisky cut. This sword is no longer a virgin. Yeah. How did it feel? <laughs> It's 1095. It's 1095 clay temper. Yeah, I, that Motohaba looks pretty wide to me. It 
Now we know why the streams keep getting banned. <laughs> <laughs> Says wild me. It's after it's the RV Hackathon after hours. Just dead silence. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. yeah, this cuts very, very smoothly. There's a lot of mass behind it. I'm guessing. Does anyone have a. Can we have your credit card or something? <laughs> now, I want to see if there's Nico on it. And I'm looking at a reflection, and it looks like. I just want Scott's credit card. You know, there's not much on it. They're fighting to put their credit cards on it. I hope um, you guys are covering your numbers so people aren't zooming in. It's a Sam's card. It's a Sam's card. A Sam's card. Yeah, there is a little bit of Nico on it. Yeah, it's not like dramatic, but there is Nico on it. Yeah, it's not a completely flat one. Nico is basically, instead of being like this, it's more of a this. So, got some nice buff to it. We'll finish her off. Finish her. Oh. <laughs> Who ever complains about the seas? Nice. Just sort of hung there. Let me grab a paper towel real quick. Yeah, let's wipe this here. Uh, well, some some water splashed on the floor. Oh, from the. <laughs> we're gonna uh, definitely clean this off because we're technically we're supposed to take pictures of it uh, and do some pretty cool video. This is such a fun stream. Thank you, Solar Crickets. Their polish is so well done. It's a nice polish. It is a nice polish. We should have gotten more pics of it and uh, and video before we actually started cutting. But hey, here we are. All right, let's go ahead and let's graduate to like uh, to Tommy mat. So we just started with a beach mat. Beach mats don't have quite as much resistance. They're a little bit lighter. A lot easier easier to cut. Nice. What are y'all cutting with? We're cutting with uh, the Taitsuki Hana, Shoshin Hana. Brian, this is the big, uh, the internet's a buzz with the Taitsuki Shoshin Hana. Taitsuki's been around, Taitsuki's been around for a, quite a while, since 2015, 2016, that I'm aware of. Um, and they've gone back and forth. They make stuff that's in the three to $4,000 range. They do Tamahagane, some other high-end stuff. They're Did based in Thailand, yeah. Let's um, compare the width. I guess the... Uh, the Kawa Nakajima is still the it's winner. Still, it's still reigns supreme. Yeah. <laughs> but there's, uh, so, you know, they're kind of a back and forth. Uh, and a lot of people have said, you know, for that money, you could get into a Motahara or something else. But they've listened to a lot of feedback and they just haven't given hey, up. Mike Vega. They've listened to people. And uh, this is their first real sub thousand dollar sword that they've put a lot into that they hope will kind of really impact the market. So it's 1095 steel with a bohi, uh, really nice, tight wrap. So far, we're pretty impressed. Six hundred bucks, and we're actually having a pre-order for five seventy-five. That's below MSRP. Mind you, if you order, it'll take about three months, is what I was told. You know, actually, maybe we should clean some of them yeah, so that. Mark doesn't slip and damage the sword. I mean, hurt himself. <laughs> Priorities. Priorities. Hey, guy. Hey, Warren Nass. Hey, Jay. Hey, Warren. Happy birthday, Mike Warren. Vega in the house. Warren's birthday today. How was it? Oh, tanjo mayo, mutito all right, so we're gonna go cut a little more with the Shoshin Hana. See how it does on actual tatami and multi. Thicker and heavier. Nice. Thock. Yeah, that thock sound. Yeah. I love that thock sound. Mm -hmm. All right, who's, who's next? I'll take a shot. Yeah. You uh, you make like a Bruce Lee. Yeah, type sound for cutting it. <laughs> what's what's Bruce Lee's favorite? No. What's Bruce Lee's favorite drink? What's up? That's so bad. You just took John's energy. I was going to think that's Mark. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Made it bad enough to cut well, right? Exactly. Yeah. That was, yeah, I have to say, I love the sound. That's how he gets cut. Mm -hmm. it's a so, once again, this is the uh, Shoshin Hana. From uh, Taiski. John, how does it compare to the SKS3? Well, guess what? We are going to cut with the SKS3 today. You scooped that. So here's the thing. How's the blade? Did any damage to the blade with the scoop? Is it, did it bend or anything? Because T10 blades will bend. Well, so I thought it was 92. This is 1095. 1095, my bad. Um, yeah. Which, so, yeah, this would, this this would bend. bend. They will T10's bend. T10's going to bend. This is going to bend. Yeah. 
Yeah. Looks straight enough to me, even with that scoop. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> We're gonna we'll be cutting with the SKS three in a few minutes. Um, Joe. Yeah, I brought mine, Joe. We're gonna cut. Whoa. Are you okay? You okay, man? I, and this is cool because we got the reflection. I don't know what happened, but when I recorded this, this, this went long. So I don't know if you guys saw the reflection there, but I'm going to definitely capture that on uh, when, I, when I save this. <laughs> Any straight blades? We do have some straight blades. Oh, we got straight blades. Yeah. Going on this shot, or am I forgetting myself? Wow, you really. <laughs> yeah, you don't want anybody else to catch actually, you. No, that was not a bad cut. It's just, it just caught it, it lifted some of it this way. But yeah. actually, that's called a tatami hog. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah it's, it's bad because of the angle. Yeah. Okay. Here, go ahead and take another cut. All right. Uh, yeah, we're good. Diage again, maybe? Yaku hmm? Kason. Let's do it on this side so don't hit Scott. Nice heard the nice ball. whoosh. Mm -hmm. Heard the nice whoosh. Got some kaze there. It is a little bit quiet. You can hear the kaze on it, but it is a very yeah, it subtle kaze, kaze. As much as uh, some of the other stuff, but I mean, it doesn't. I mean, yeah, Joe. That one just a second ago. It hit. Um, it hit the broom when the broom hit Scott. <laughs> so <laughs> friggin' Rube Goldberg. <laughs> yeah. Scott around. All right. Uh, Who's next, or am I just finishing this off? He wants a dogi. This is oh, one of the most difficult cuts. Wait, Scott, yeah. Yeah, what do I have? How much did they get through? About halfway, it looks like. Why not you? <laughs> Watch your problem. It was a nice. There it is. And it's when you get caught in the blade, like caught in the mat like that, that you risk a bend. Is how's it looking? Yeah. And yeah, so his second strike did not hit the first cut. So yeah, I don't know. It held up. It's kind of good. I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad I'm cutting poorly tonight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a good sword will make a bad cut look, look you know work well. So yeah, not too bad. That's what happens when you don't cut for a while. All right, so that was the Taiski and Shihana. Look, no scratches. I mean, there's, I don't really see any scratches on the blade. Hold it, let me get it. You see anything? On it? I am going to hold this at an angle. We're going to take a look at the Monoichi. I don't see any scratches. Their polish is really uh, a little bit, but it's just scuffing. Yeah, scuffing from oh, the yeah. from the. Uh, once we uh, alcohol this, it'll probably come off. Yeah, but that's that's normal. All right, so people, that was the Taiski. So Shinhana, 1095. Can you do the Yamato? Uh, we have already a lot of things to come with. We actually don't have a Yamato to cut with. with. Yeah. We yeah. don't have a Yamato to cut with. Hey, Mara, John, can you show that awesome Habaki close up when you guys are done cutting with it? Yeah, we'll do that. Um, here, or er, Habaki on the uh, so Shinhana. So I'll, I'll show that real quickly. So there is the Habaki. Uh, it's not coming into focus on TikTok. There you go. Ready? It is, yep, it is a Hana. It is a um, cherry blossom Hana. Which combo is that? It's, it's, <clears throat> I don't know which combo this is from. Can you put me on riot gear and then cut with a stainless blade? We will hard pass on that. Yeah. yeah. Just curious, but are you planning on getting different colors of the Taiski? Uh, Jill, no, I don't they think only so. They offer that one in that color, Jill. Yeah, that model. Okay. Okay, so now we're gonna cut with the SKS3. This is the Cloud Hammer. This is still on pre-order. You can still get a few more. Um, this is Cloud Hammer's SKS3. So we have a special order on rvakatana.com. That is not this furniture. It's different furniture. Um, it'll be a black, all all um, iron tuba, black iron tuba. Mm. This hat's backwards, must be serious. I know, the hat backwards. Ooh, Ooh that, that was a good cut. That was a very nice cut. Yeah. Once again, these are beach mats, a little bit easier to cut than a regular mat. Like nothing, it's different. But in contrast, it's coming with that. Oh yeah, it it, it was easier. Though. Then again, Ooh. I mean, it's just nothing there. Yeah, this one has a really pretty. Oh, this yeah. one has a really pretty uh, hum uh, on as well. It's almost. I'm gonna hold this up so you can it's see. Almost a waist cutting piece that with it. I know, right? Choji, <laughs> Choji, hey, hum on there. We're cutting. I'll yeah, cut. I'll cut something of Ben 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 parts. <laughs> Other than the cheese, oh, no, make it sweet. Thank you. 
SKS3, also known as Checker Board Bands, Brandon Katana. <laughs> Mm -hmm. It's a effortless. I think a hog. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he is. I paid for the sun. Go ahead. Oh, fairly Yeah, a little bit of Yama. Yeah. Well, Mr. Reese asking which cuts better, the Taiski or the Cloud Hammer. Like so far, the Cloud Hammer is doing a little bit better, but the Taiski has a bulky, so there's a little bit more drag. Going on there. Yeah. <laughs> It's in that line, but at least cut it. Uh, Sean Amira, how much for what? This one, this one's four fifty. Four fifty, but it, yeah, pre order now, deposit two twenty five, or you can pay for uh, for a little less. I think but they just finished production of the blades, so we'll have um, they're in the mounting phase now for these. So if you pre ordered one, flash, the uh, wait <laughs> won't be the full three months that we thought. Yeah. Which is good. Well, we had gave up the three months. We're in the mounting queue the... right now, so yeah. we'll see what happens. Yeah, we're not exactly sure when, but they are mounting. It. But they're mounting it. That's that's good. All right, let's graduate to a regular Tommy Yeah. So once again, here, check out the Hamon on this one. The Hamon. Hamon. How much? Yeah. Let's see. Because Google has been giving me the runaround. Which one? Let's heavy cutting versus soft cutting. What is your definition of heavy cutting? Heavy cutting is going to be bamboo or double mat. I consider that to be hard cut. Yeah, heavy cutting to be like double mats, hard cutting to be bamboo. Or what is the difference in steel and blade shape? This is SKS three, which is a little tougher. Oh, Smika, that's right. You're coming tomorrow. I won't be here. I'll be at work. So let me know, Smika. Let me know. Maybe I'll be able to come in during my lunch if you're around lunch. We'll have to eat the way here. So this is going to be opening tomorrow. At opening? I'll be at work. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> Over here on the side, Mark is ducking. I'm just like, I don't know which way that's going to go. Scott got an in for me today. Scott, uh, what uh, would you do? Uh, get the debris. Skip it. Skip it. Skip it. Skip it. Sweep up the debris field, was what I was about to say. Super glue for the heat healing, <laughs> says Mara. <laughs> John is ended up way west into the other Virginia. Oh, okay, that's too bad. Cook would have been awesome to see you. Oh, Cook's in West Virginia. Yeah, he was thinking he was gonna try to come here through Virginia, but I guess it didn't happen. Oh man. Yeah. Oh, 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 it just hung there. That was a little, that was a little scooped. Yeah, I was gonna say you scooped it. That was a good control cut. <laughs> scooped it a little again. Unless all the skin's been ripped and nothing is muscle showing. I have no idea what you're saying, Ambu. Can you open the sheath on the other katana easily? Open the sheath. Oh, you can draw it. Yeah, I'm not sure. Whatever it is about, when I practice, like, Revert, uh, if you don't have a case off of, uh, like in the air, I always feel really awkward. But yeah, you kind of well because you're pulling your arms through, so you have a good technique for that. Must feel. Yama, that. Kind of Yama. But this is pretty easy. Man, this is easy to cut with. Did you sharpen this? No. <laughs> so we're still, we've already done several cuts on this. And it's still holding its edge really well. Well, SDS3 will hold an edge pretty well. <laughs> Smick is saying, you can, you can skip work, you make your own schedule. This is true. Um, because I also make my own schedule and I, I don't get paid if I don't work. So this is yeah, this is a fun sword. Very happy with it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, let's see. What's your favorite kata for Tameshigiri? Kata? I was looking into Moritaka swords under your site and I found out they were for soft cutting. Um we have have we cut bamboo with this? We have cut bamboo. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we've cut so we've done hard cutting. We have done hard cutting. Oh! Did you circumcise that? Oh! Oh! <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was pegged, and I was like, "You cut right through the peg." <laughs> but no, that was that was an amazing cut from the STS three. Oh, we got after, uh, after really, hours, really, really happy. So you know, obviously the the ones we ordered, I customized the Tsuba the furniture, no flowers, <laughs> but uh, 
Yeah, I mean, look at this. The hamong on there is really pretty. They've done a really good job with it. John, I'd have to say your L6 still is the better soft cutter. That's the best soft. That's the best soft that cutter I've ever, 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 ever used. We talk about years later. We're still talking yeah, about it. <laughs> it was just so effortless. I still remember we made those cuts and John was like running around the freaking <laughs> shop. This is when the shop had a lot more room to run around in. <laughs> All right, what are we going to cut with next? So we have some Dragon King. We've got... Uh, what do you guys want to see us cut with? Dragon King, Warfire, Fire, the She, the Autumn Leaf. Uh, and the Kawanakajima. You got my Reaper. Anything you guys want to see us cut with? I bet you want to see the Autumn Leaf. Do some katanas come with sword bags? No, sword bags. They do come with sword bags, Nathan Jolly. Let's do the, let's do the Autumn Leaf. Unukubi. Do we have extra Unukubi? We have one Unukubi, the mo Mokogata. Oh, okay. Kikugata. Yeah, we have like three of those, don't we? That is actually yeah, well go grab that. Okay. We are gonna cut we are gonna cut uh with the um with the Unukubi. It's natural wood. This is the very bottom. I see it. The very bottom of that rack. The very bottom. Yep. Put that up, put put that put the fletching up for now. Or the autumn leaf. I'm just, I'm just waving it. I know. <laughs> I'm just surprised at how lively this is. We're not gonna cut with the war horse. We only have one of them. Did you say a Motohara Unukubi? No, this is not a Motohara Unukubi. This is a the Dragon King. No, no, oh that's uh Right. This is a Phoenix Arms. Cut with the Silver Dragon. We can do that. You want to bring the Silver Dragon over? Silver Dragon, is that? We'll take a couple cuts with the uh, Unukubi, and then we'll take a couple cuts with the Silver Dragon. Or it depends, if we're having fun. Highlander, yes, we do have straight blades. My blade has a longer handle than most swords. That sounds like... Anyway. <laughs> this has got a pretty long handle to it. Geisha is an Unukubi. Yeah. Hey, John Smicko, did you know about your Geisha, right? John, did you pay me for that Geisha yet? That sounds bad. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we'll cut with the silver dragon. Oh! What the hell was that? Oh, did you just cut through your beads? What the hell is happening? Is that, are these your prayer beads? Yeah, they just might get broke. That was interesting. Wow, maybe that's a sign. Yeah, almost stuck. Like, <laughs> that's a well, sign. Let's get this out of the cutting field so we don't just put on them. Yeah. Is that like that? Must be your prayer piece on that. I saw it. I was like, I was like, how come the sword just? <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was a sword breaking. I was like, how does the sword do that? <laughs> There's one more right here. Oh, here. This is the uh, band that's all together. You saw it here live <laughs> <laughs> on RBA Katana. Yeah, we have no idea what just happened. Oh, do you have shorter Katana around 12 inches? You mean a Tanto? Yes, we do. I'm not sure my cousin gave me it's a long handled samurai sword. Cool deal. Woo! This was this is uh the is this legacy blades? Uh could be? Uh is it Phoenix Phoenix Arms? Is it oh yeah, Phoenix Arms. Um yeah, Unukubi. It's so light. Yeah, I know. That takes so much of the weight of the blade is out that Unukubi. See if you can do a double cut. A double? Yeah. All right. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Watch your foot. Oh yeah, I see. Water There's water and, and beads and all kinds of things on the floor. <laughs> Prayer beads, yeah. crocodile, hazards, ocean. Hold <laughs> on. Oh, 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 oh. The breed field. Okay. All right. Mark is really good at double cutting, so we're going to see how well this one, because Unukubis are usually pretty lightweight this and fast. Music, I think. Yeah, I haven't done one of these in a long time, so let's see here. Ooh. Yes. All right, prop it up. So this is, uh, yeah, I think Phoenix Arms Unukubi. Just look up Unukubi and you will find this here. This is the wheel, maybe? SKS3 is sold out. No, no, we still have those. Yeah, don't do that with the sword. Just let it fall. <laughs> can you cut with she katana? Yeah, we can do this. Yeah, We're located in Richmond, that. Virginia. Oh, we brought a she, so we'll, we'll cut with a she. Yeah, we'll cut with a she. We're taking requests for the things that we're, we have here. <laughs> And the rubber band actually <laughs> shot in my direction. <laughs> Luckily, it missed me. So this yeah, is the, missed him. damn, he missed me. <laughs> so this is the Unukubi. And Scott, or not Scott, but uh, Mark with those Popeye arms. This is like, he, <laughs> he one-handed that. I'm do it again. Yep, you got it. It was actually, it kind of partially exploded, but he did get a really nice cut out of it. Nicely three, done. Three Unukubis, man. Let's get some more alcohol in this rag. Down. It's 9260, so it will. Uh, no, it's 65 events. Oh, it is? So, yeah, so Phoenix Arms. 
Yeah, STS three is not. Is Emma Wooden Sword in stock? I think we have. We have. Do we have an Emma Wooden Sword? We're sold out of Emma Wooden. Are we? Yeah. So we are sold out of Wooden Emma. Sorry about that. How does it could be feel to Shinogi Sakuri? Is there any tachikaze to compare with Shinogi with Bohi? Go ahead and look, go ahead and swing it and let's see. As a whoosh. It kind of sounds more like my fart than um than Scott's <laughs> usual fart. Oh! <laughs> We're trying to like nail each other with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's just amazing. <laughs> And luckily, we're catching all the reflections in the mirror of people like, dodging like things. We're, we're <laughs> that was a really nice. That was a really nice cut. What can I get for one fifty? You can get this, like any uh, Heaven and Earth or Dash Dragon Spring T10 Steel ones for one fifty. Can you bring that rolled up mat to the camera and show the fibers? Because I don't know if it's bamboo. It's not bamboo. No, it's not bamboo. So these are beach mats. Can I see right? shorter katanas that are twelve inch or less? You're talking about a tanto. We'll show it when we're done cutting. We're That's not going to cut mat. with tanto. I heard that tatami is supposed to stimulate human limb. I wonder if a severed arm makes that same thunk. We don't want to test that out. Silver dragon. Silver dragon. We'll cut with the silver dragon. So this is one of the Heaven Earth $150 swords here. We've had fun cutting with this in the past. That is a fun sword. Yeah, yeah, we haven't cut with it in a long time. We have not cut with it in a very long time. Yeah. George is saying I ended up picking up one of those uh, Tyskis as well as Mika. Looking forward to getting it. Hey, that's awesome, man. Who? who? George? 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 Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I shipped that out today. Yeah, yeah, that's on the way to you, George. Thank you for that. We have a, we have a horse. Yeah, it's because the uh, the beach mats really soak up a lot of water. We soak them for two days. Yeah, we soak them for two days to get a little more mass. Beach match, you can soak, you kind of have to soak a little longer. Yeah, you gotta, yeah. The Tommy, you kind of soak them for more than 48 hours. They start to disintegrate. Yeah, one of my teachers soaks them for 10 hours, which makes them really difficult. Yeah. About 24 hours is, I think, the sweet spot. Oh, like, another game. Awesome. Friggin' Matt Hog. I know. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll, I'll take responsibility. There you go. Please. Have you guys thought about doing a series of L6 katana like the Moritaka Vortex? If you answered, sorry, missed it. We are getting some L6 cutters, but they've been a long time in production. Yeah, we have L6 from where you got Okay, I kind of under yama that. <laughs> so, <clears throat> uh, natural hamon is from the differential tempering process or quenching, I should say. Hardening. Hardening, yeah. Ah. So that's when they apply the the clay onto the blade, a thicker layer on the spine, so it cools it uh, slower. Short. They actually do a really good job with the leather wrap. It is it is imitation uh, ray skin, but it's really tight. But it's really tight. Get out your way. Yeah, Moritaka does do an L6. Hey, Davy Gray, owner of a. Oh, nice. nice my stepdad has offered to bring me to the shop sometime when I go to t to Tennessee to visit uh, my mom and dad. Mom, you're gonna beat that one. Oh, okay. We're doing this again. McDonald's, you're loving it. <laughs> I just found out your sh uh, found your shop. I like what you're doing. Awesome. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. So this is a hundred and fifty dollar sword, people. That was a that was a much bigger cut, but yeah, big cut, but still. We do this. We get a lot of customers say, "Well, will it cut?" Yes, it will cut. It will kill. It will cut. It's a boat. It will kill. Oh, yeah. You hear that cousin? I heard the cousin. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a that is a dangerous That's not a good I know. Disgusting. Disgusting. <laughs> room that got hit by a Tommy. So this is this is John's cut right here. This is this is the one that I did. Can you scooch the uh, the uh, rubber band? Yeah. yeah. It fits perfectly on Do that. you guys have enough of the unbreakable faith or whichever one is the S7 blade oh, yeah. to cut so with? We have like three of them, but no, we don't have enough to cut with. We don't have enough to cut with. Yeah, we'll have, yeah. I will have any we, did we cut with it? We cut with it last week, didn't we? Did we cut with it? Two weeks ago. Two weeks ago, we did cut with it, yeah. Did we? Yeah, we did. Yeah. Oh, okay. No, uh, not the Unbreakable Fit. It was one of the other ones. Not the S7, though. Not the S7, yeah. Oh. It's about flying. Yeah. Kind of targeting issue here. These, these guys get hard when, you know, they're hard to cut when they're not mounted. And they're, well, it's the most fun. It's still fun, though. Yeah. yeah. Like, what is the current katana that you're using? This is the Silver Dragon from Heaven and Earth. From Heaven and Earth. 
It was re re renamed Dragon Spring. They didn't like the name Heaven and Earth. 150 bucks for 150 this. bucks. That's what we sell it for. We love it. It's a full tang. It's T10. It is imitation race game. It's differentially still. hardened. It's got a natural hamong on it. It's, uh, it's a fun little sword. Yeah. Oh, nice. And you heard the Kaze too. The veteran well, <laughs> full real tang or full tang rat tail. We don't sell anything that's rat tail. We are. You know, this is a hobby for us. We don't do this for a living. And as a result, we're not selling anything with a rat tail. Oh. Uh, if, if you cut with a rat tail, you'd probably cut yourself. Oh, it unravels. Yeah, it unravels. A rat tail sword is just going to break. Yeah, we don't, we don't deal with that. Go for it, Mark. See if you can make it. You're not going to do it. <laughs> Probably not the, the correct old meeting for uh, for your small spot, but gives the job ball. Ah. Are the advantages to the Rico shapes, Scott, over? I don't know. I think it's more of a, of a, a personal, personal, preference, personal preference. But once you train with the Rico, holy good patch. Once you train with the Rico shapes, Swing Chun Reflex, like man. Game over. I love the Silver Dragon. See, I yeah. was like that too, but for uh, curves, Scott. Once I once I got my uh, uh, hammer that have a, has a curved handle, I couldn't. Isn't that back. pretty for one hundred fifty dollars? T ten. So it's really a good job. It, I mean, and the thing is, it's really solidly built, you know. Uh, I mean, you could pick it apart, of course. No, we're not going to do an S5 versus S7. We don't, we don't really have the safety equipment to do tight. that. And we're not like some YouTubers. Who, uh, Where do you guys get your Tameshigiri? What do you mean, Yasuke? I think he means the, the mats. Uh, yeah. We import so, them from China. Yeah, we import them from China. Well, the beach mats we get from, um, from uh, what do you, where do you call them? Uh, Windy City Novelties, we get the beach mats. So the Tommy we import directly from China ourselves. Tommy Shigiri is uh, sword testing. It actually is it's a term for sword testing. It's not the actual act of, it's not the target. Tommy Shigiri is not evaluating the performance of the swordsman. It's evaluating the performance of the blade. When you're evaluating the performance of the swordsman, it's called Suemonogiri. And it's definitely not the target itself. <laughs> right, so same along with this class. The issue is some groups have kind of controlled the narrative, just like any other hobby, and they control the speech. So I think you're, it's a losing battle. You know, you're you're you sound like a pedantic, pedantic jerk when you try to correct people, but like like in the claim words, right? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Mark will die on the Claymore we'll Hill. The Claymore Listen, hill. Mark will or Listen, Scott will die all, on this. We all have a hill that we must die on. That's the one. Can you cut with Odachi or no Odachi? Um, we don't actually act have one to cut with. Do a sheet. Yeah, let's cut with the sheet. This is the sheet katana sword. from Dragon King. What does she say? What swords have your favorite hamon? Hamon. Uh, uh, I'm really in love with this SKS3 hamon. Yeah, the SKS3 Sakabato cut. Uh, actually, I don't think we have it. Oh, we need to ship a Sakabato. Oh no, she's gonna pick it up. Do we put it? Do we put it aside? Do we have an extra Sakabato? Yes. Okay. The My biggest sword we have, we'll show it later, but we have like a 47 inch uh, um, Odachi. So let's do, uh, let's do, uh, let's do a round round on this one. Right. What are we doing? Smallest cut? Yeah, smallest cut. Smallest cut on the sheet. <laughs> Boom. That made a more interesting sound when it hit. <laughs> go ahead and show. Oh, now you're splashing. So let's go ahead and see how, how small of a cut you made. So that was, that was too close. I know, that's not too bad. It's about two inch, two inches. <laughs> Well, my my mile wasn't very good because you can see where I where I cut on the blade here. It should have been up closer to here. It's all good. Yeah. <laughs> John, are you still sealing the mats when you get the time? Sealing? What do you mean by sealing, Joe? Does the SKS repeat order also have a Choji Hamon? It's Choji esque. Let's just say it's Choji esque. I will show you. So I'm coming over here, Mark. Okay. Uh, so you can see it's that. It looks a little bit like a Choji, but not exactly. It's kind of a Guname Choji. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A Guname. Just keeping it nice and clean for you. Yeah. Well, I got to turn my hat backwards. Oh, yeah, there you go. Backwards hat again. This is a bean. Yeah. Backwards bean. This, this is my shit. How you doing, girl? <laughs> Does your, gr Does your girl have a gold tooth? <laughs> I'm saying that. Go ahead and show the tube. I'm not being racist. <laughs> so. I was waiting for the New Jersey company. So you can see the sheet there has a gold tooth. Oh, it looks like a silver tooth. Oh, sorry, silver tooth. My bad. C selling. Yes, we are selling, um, Joe. We still have uh, we still have some SKS3. The old ice fire oh. sword. Nice. Man, I'm just freaking scooping tonight. Dunk. 
So that's the size of this cut there. Good, what, three inches? Four, four inches. What's what's three or four inches long? You guys. <laughs> you guys. See, John, just know if you ever come here to cut with John, you'll never get a chance to cut. <laughs> I just thought it was about two cuts worth. <laughs> <laughs> I lose. I, I have forfeited my right to use the <laughs> At least I got a better location. Yeah, Steve, time. that's what she <laughs> said. <laughs> <laughs> that's what Steve said. That's what she said. That's what she said. I'm going to go just, yeah, yeah. I'm going to cut a little bit there. Just like, I just flicked a little. Ah, this. Stop trying to be me. I'm trying to be trying to be Mark and Bailey. <laughs> All right. Who's going to? Uh, I think it's my turn. That was awful. <laughs> that was awful. I, hang, I hang my head in shame. Uh, what'd you say? I'm taking that as a note or never heard of it still. What are you talking about? Ask again, buddy. What'd you say again? Uh, care to share my best cut and worst cutting. I, I asked a while ago if you've heard of an old Ice Fire Forge sword. Have yeah, you I'm found not, true or false? Not familiar, not familiar with, with not that. Familiar with not familiar, familiar with that, buddy. Sorry. We're just getting worse and worse. <laughs> that was that was a lazy cut on my part. I'm These sure. are mine. They're not very sharp, so I, I haven't sharpened them. So uh, they're like on my Dragon King rack of glory. Do you put the sights on the mat? No, no, we have not. We should actually put what mats? Mats on the site. Oh, on the website. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're bits to ship. They are. Someone actually just ordered ten rolled ones from us. Yeah, he got. He's the same guy who wanted his thing sharpened. They're not on the site. Hmm. Oh, he just, he paid me via PayPal for 10 of them. Where are they going? Uh, New Jersey, I think. Some shithole called New Jersey. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> that was kind of flat, but better than mine. If we took your angle and my angle and averaged them out, it would have been good hit, hit cuts. I think you're losing a little hostage when you do that big wind up. Oh, I am. Uh, let's see. Watching while hitting chest A. Nice, man. Shitty cut. Uh, all right, check it for edge damage. I might put him a she, but no, looks good. <laughs> but check this out, actually. This is worth looking at because it dug like about half a, a quarter of an inch into the hole of the crap. It's, it's like, it's sort of similar to uh, Matt Jensen's Oni Katana test where he just kind of thumps it into a. a I'm just, I fucked that up so bad. Sorry, everybody. I didn't oh. check across. It's all right. But uh, no damage to the blade. No damage to the blade. See, I'm just... When it comes to these, you have to try really hard to damage and them. And this is the so. T10. Yeah. And here's the... I'm going to hold the cross section. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. But that's where yeah. it fit into the... Is it in the frame? Yeah, but you need to point at it. So there are lots of notches in there. Right there. Okay. So it dug about a quarter of an inch deep into the... Into the... Um, the thing, the sword is so dull, dude. Oh my god! It's, no wonder we're struggling. It's so dull. <laughs> I've always wondered what is being cut when y'all do this. What are you cutting? So someone was asking about your worst cut. That was probably my worst cut. So incredibly it, dull. It, it happens to all of us. But we're cutting tatami mats and beach mats. Let's see here. We cut a lot of bamboo, oh, Mr. D Man. We are not cutting bamboo right now. We cut a lot of bamboo once it comes in the season because it's free. We love bamboo just because it is a free, a free thing. All right, what else do we have to cut with? Kawa Nakajima? Kawa Nakajima. What, what, what do you guys want to see us cut with? We have... Someone's asking how much, but we don't know what they're asking. Um, let's see. We have the Kawa Nakajima. We have an Autumn Leaf. We have a Warfire. Those are the ones that... We have the Reaper. What do you guys want to see us cut? Wow, I really effed that shit up. <laughs> what, Risa, in the house. Always great to have you. Sakabato. Uh, we don't actually have an extra Sakabato to cut with at this present moment. Oh, we didn't cut with the autumn. Yeah, let's go. Someone, actually, people people are asking for the Reaper. The Reaper? Oh, Reaper? People are asking for the Reaper. Reaper. And Warfire. We have Warfire and Reaper. How many mats do we have? We have two mats left. Like, can we start a poll? Let's do the round Yeah, we can do that. And we'll and then we'll give a tour of the shop afterwards. Uh, so I'm just all up in your room. Ah! <laughs> okay. Another one he beats. Her pleasure. You know where to put that? In his pocket, dude. <laughs> yeah, what do you think I was talking about? So yeah, here's the Reaper. Can you just you just swing it? Oh yeah. Right here in front of the 
No, like put, put yeah, full swing. Uh, but like barely any any effort, right? But <laughs> <laughs> it sounds so glorious. It sounds amazing. Dude. Black blanket one. What is the blank black blanket? Black blanket. Black blanket. Black blanket. I, we don't know what you mean, XW. I guess we're doing this. Y you looks like we are. Okay. Uh, cutting with the Reaper. All right. Oh, oh, oh. I love how you hear the Kaze before it hits. Yeah, this one. And just a nice, nice cut. I, I am not allowed near swords. Well, I, I, big, but, yeah. I, I don't deserve to cut tonight <laughs> after that last. You got plenty of mat. You're not going to hit the stand yet. <laughs> hold hold my sword. <laughs> I'm just stupid. Yeah, we're just just an off day, I guess. One of those days. Oh, John came out of retirement. I came out of retirement. Hold my sword. <laughs> yep. Yeah. I was just I was just giving you a test switch. I think you're okay. Get that from here. All right, redemption. A little steep, but actually that was a small uh that was a nice small little cross section. That's actually not a bad cut. Actually, yeah. Uh, was, no, you could tell it was a nice slicing cut, so it was a sound instead of a thump. Okay, we're gonna not we're gonna unpeg it. Huh? Oh lord. Unpegged after hours. Unpegged after hours. That was a Yamaka. Who's next? Uh, it's nice. I did take two cuts. Did you pay full price? The lappers. <laughs> no, but I rolled them. The one with the blank cloth over the sleeve. The blank cloth over the sleeve. I have no, we have no idea what you're talking about, EXW. Net. The deep curve touchy. Nice. That was a very close cut there. Black. Deep curve. Oh, I know it's the deep curve touchy. Yeah, weren't we like up with one of those? Guess not now. Oh, nice. Hung there for a second, but ultimately decided to stay there. No, not that close. To the <laughs> I, I, I have a bad track record. Nice. Oh, nice. Ozuyama, but still. I know. But I don't know if you guys heard that, but he got he got Kaze before and after. Nice! He made it through with this really cool flip cut, one of his flip cuts. <laughs> yeah. Well, the idea is you should be able to cut using just one of those motions. You know? What? It's, it's like your humor stuff, man. You know, the, the Japanese purist has to be like. <laughs> <laughs> now, I've seen some. I've seen some guys do uh, cuts like that. Yeah. In uh, in, in JS. So. Let's go ahead. Un let's unpeg this guy and take cuts on it. So we're doing what do I think we said Warfire? Well Warfire is your and that that Warfire is your best cutting sword, John. Yeah, it was. But you know what? I don't want to cut with this thing to be cutting. <laughs> now that I brought it up, right? Now that it's been brought up, I kinda of wanna cut with one of these. Things. I'd be all for cutting with the touchy. Me too. Yeah, me too. Uh, this one is more shallow. More curve better. Mocha. Which do you think will not sell as well? Blue, blue, purple, or green? Uh, I don't know. I hate the color blue, but it sells the best. Yeah, I think green. We'll do the purple. I just didn't like the purple. So these are so nice. Yeah, these are really nice. So we're gonna cut. We're gonna cut with this. Some of our touching. So this will be the used one. Are these on the website yet? No, that's, that's probably in there. Ah, okay. So this will be the used one that will be on sale for. A little bit off. Let's be totally epic it off then. <laughs> It'll be the store cutter. <clears throat> All right, show this guy off. So this is a deeply curved touch court touchy. It has um, it has the sakura fittings, but with a with a uh, silver silver and gold look, as opposed to the usual black and gold look or the old age T10. This is a T10 clay tempered yeah. sword. Let me hold it up at an angle so people can see the hamon. Hamon. I got it. I was just making an adjustment. There's a very uh, Choji-esque hamon. It looks like they almost go into the, uh, they dip too low, but no, they don't. I was actually looking to see if it dipped the, uh... this is actually a really cool hamon. 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 Yeah, I like it. Yeah, so once again, this is a court touchy. Yeah, 
you know, we just got it. So it has a deep curve to it. How does it actually, before you cut, what, 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 we're, we're going to compare this to, um, to, the, reaper. to the Reaper. Yeah. And the curvature on the Reaper. Let's bring it over here. Can you bring this up? Can you hold it so we can take I have to make sure it's put in screen. So, and Scott, can you bring it down a little bit lower? And you, so it has a deeper curve than the Reaper. A little bit deeper. Yeah, much deeper. <laughs> so this is, yeah, deeply curved Tachi, everybody. Here. No Hattori Hanzo swords. All right, so here we are. Yeah, mark it out of the way, please. Yeah. Nice, nice. Show off that. Yeah, how short that cut was. That was like right on the right at the edge. Yeah. He's living on the edge. Damn, damn, nice cut. Oh, what's they're asking? What styles we guys? What new how we have trained in? Kukishin Ru, Koden Ru, Tenshin Hyo Ho, Tenshin Ru Hyo Ho. Mark does Mugai Ryu. Mugai Ryu, Mishinawa Blonde Sword. And I just do the Polish saber. But I'll call you no Gendai Budo. What do you think? How does it feel? Not that there's anything wrong with that. There's a deep Koshizoru. Yeah. There's a very classic, like old style. Old style sword. Yeah, I'm just been cutting these straight blades. I got it. Sounds good. I know. Oh, wow. Dude, Mark's, Mark got a huge cut on the back. It's like barely holding together because he's <laughs> at the seams. That was such a lazy cut, too. Did you see how lazy that was? Look at that. Nice cut. All right, John. Can you still do the one with the black cloth or bag on the sleeve? I seriously have this. Oh, this one. That is that as a sword that I dulled. So this one's dulled. This is a Moritaka vortex that Mark dulled for one of my students. So yeah, it's already been sold. Number one, number two, it's dull. So it it's not it's not cutting anything anytime soon. It, it probably could go through some mess, but uh, we probably hurt the blade doing it. Which I'm gonna help you Yeah, I, I, I think it's fun. Considering how much I paid for it, you you yeah, picked it. Yeah, <laughs> cut with all of your swords, John. So that's pretty. This is pretty tight wrap. They, they mm -hmm. did a much better job with um, wrap after we started. What's that one that? selling for? Two seventy five. No, no. no. <laughs> chop, chop, chop. Shing, shing. I know, right? This one is. Uh, this one is like six fifty. Six fifty. Okay. So we're cutting with a very expensive sword. But look how deeply curved that is. This is like we should be. We should be like riding on a bicycle and riding by and slicing heads. Scott, Scott, one thousand one. No, you want a boar spear for that. <laughs> <laughs> you can get a that was a very small. That was a small cut. That's what she said. <laughs> just you. We're just brutal tonight. I know. Springtime savagery is a foot. <laughs> <laughs> you know what else is savage? Oh, I am just sucking it up so bad today. But there's still plenty of math to cut. Yes, there is. I'm going to cut above that. Yeah, there you go. Mm. So I'll we'll have to cut with this guy again so we can get good footage. Unlike me, I'm just really not with it today. Nice. Nice. Well done, Scott. Yeah, look at that. That gash in it is what I put into it. Yeah. I wish that there were sword classes here. There Surprising are. there is not being a military town, says Hardwood Floor. Oh, oh. We well, you know Hardwood Floor, you can always join our Discord where uh, where um, Scott teaches a class. Every Saturday at 1 o'clock Eastern, it's free. Sometimes I help out. For tips. <laughs> I don't want to do one minute cut. Oh, man, it's the Taji. Come on, bro. Then yeah, that's what you use them for. Not everything's a Hema longsword, Mark. How do you work? How I know, you? I know. I'm just you giving you shit. One. Come on, let me give you shit. Stop. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice cut. It eats it. It eats the algorithm. <laughs> <laughs> it eats the algorithm. It's the algorithm when it mock you. Oh, it's not sir. No, I'm gonna pass. I'm. I'm. It's not. I'm not there today. Nice. 
Let me get stupid with chili, man. How's the bite look? How's the bite look? Are you bad at drinking? Yeah. Nah. Once again, this is a court tachi, people. Here, we'll bring, bring it over here again so we can show the things and everything. Has that super deep curve. Here. <laughs> scroll, scroll it down. There we go. Great. Yeah, this is a pretty sword. Mm -hmm. Do you have any Honja Pasta mini swords? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, in my back pocket. Yeah, no, my cutting is crap. Do you one hand it out? Of course. <laughs> Nicely done. Nicely done. We still have some mat scraps. Yeah, we got some scraps. Yeah, we got Love some scraps. That Hold that thought. <laughs> Do you use one? Or is that a mm. No, that wasn't the piece. This might be too short. This was the piece, but it's too short. EXW, why are you crying, bro? Why is James crying? All right. Ooh, almost. Hold on. I'm rebating it. I think Mark's hair is growing back, which is why his cutting is getting better. <laughs> <laughs> inch by inch. Uh, 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 better hair on Yeah. <clears throat> nice. Yeah. This, people, is an impressive cut. <laughs> it will cut. cut. It will cut. Great man, yeah, it is a lot of fun. Is it possible to get a Tachi made of SX 105V that is not clay tempered? I believe so. We yeah. have had them before. Yeah, we, we have. have. We had some deep curved ones, yeah. but it's been a while. And um, Cloud Hammer currently does not have any, any, uh, any in the, in the queue that I know of. We actually, if you go to, um, go to uh, Kingfisher, and what's the dude's name? The other guy in Canada. Drawing a blank, but anyway, they cut with our with uh, some cloud hammer, deep cover, deep, deeply curved SX one hundred five V Kingfisher, and I'm drawing a blank on his name, Kane Shen. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Kane Shen does a lot of great videos. Yeah, he does. Is that the dude that wears the mask? Oh, 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 oh. no, it's it's Kingfisher who has the mask. Very nice cut there. Woo. It's almost like they were designed to be cut with one handed. It's almost like that deep story is there for a reason. I know, right? <laughs> it's almost like Koshi Zori had a purpose. Yeah. Do you guys cut with Wakazashi? Yeah, we cut last week with Wakazashi. Really? Do you have any sword that are too shaku in sword length? Uh, we have had some, but we currently do not. Um, Cloud Hammer's Kodachi is too shaku. <laughs> you, guys, you guys are cutting so smoothly. It is not even moving the base piece. Because the base, the base piece is not attached either. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's at a weird angle. <laughs> she said. Oh, I knew that was coming. <laughs> Ooh, good luck with that. Uh, Scott, you might want to. Kusanagi no, no, no. Like, you're, you're in the splash zone. Oh, I need my yeah. swords identified. Send me an email. <laughs> that thing freaking exploded everywhere, but overall, this is one of oh, this is a shard from one of his cuts. That's why, because I I scooped into this piece here, trying to aim for that. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, <laughs> do we have any more shards left, or is that it? I think, I think that's uh, this is the last of the shards. Uh, the cloud armor is S five. Yes, it is an S five. Oh. Again, nice cut. Don't risk that one because that's a six hundred and fifty dollar nice sword. So risk it for the biscuit. Oh, nice. nice. That was a really good cut. That was an amazing cut. I don't even think this was the piece. But... Wow. Okay. So these guys made up for my crappy cutting today. We all very nicely. Why do you guys keep on like mentioning all these national treasures? Of course we don't have the Honjo Masamune. Of course we don't have the Mikazuki. Right here, here's another one. Here's we right don't have the Mikazuki oh, Mochika. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, what is the best on. bang for your buck sword? <laughs> best bang for your buck for cutting. Moritaka Vortex is a good beginner cutter. Um, Dragon King, you get really nice fittings for it. 
All right, we're here to show off any swords you guys want to see. This is the Morintaka Vortex for two hundred dollars. So ninety two sixty spring steel, tight wrap, real ray skin, good transition, small knots, uh, buffalo horn reinforcement, slim sire, two hundred bucks can't beat it. We dull, Mark just dealt another one for my students to make a uh, hobby key out of it, which is basically a, in the eye toll. So they're just really fun. For two hundred bucks can't beat them. Um, where are we located? We're located in Richmond, Virginia. Uh, we do have Zoro swords. The Kunitsuna, the Onimaru Kunitsuna. Uh, we don't have the uh, original one, obviously, because I believe that's in the Tokyo National Museum, but Cloud Hammer is making a replica. Um, let's see. What guy's rarest sword? Probably some antiques. A 500 year old. Can anyone come in and play with swords? You can't play with the swords, but you can look at the swords. Is the Vortex good for cutting bamboo? Apparently, we have cut with the bamboo. I don't remember it, but, but uh, Scott says we have. And. Considering how good Scott's memory is, <laughs> then yeah. Bleach swords, yes, we do have bleach swords over on this side. Notice how these are all on wheels. We do have lots of bleach swords. Bleach swords. Yeah, Moritaka sure. Dark Eclipse. Someone wants to see the Moritaka Dark Eclipse. Oh, sure. I need to get my nephew birthday gift, and he loves swords. He's ten. Get him, get him a wooden sword. Don't get a, a ten-year-old boy a real sword. That's just asking. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the trouble. Dark Eclipse? Dark Eclipse is the one with the, the wave, the wave tuba. So not that one. Oh, that's the, uh, it's the three-color brass. That's it's right beneath the, the yeah, that's the dark, dark Eclipse. Dark Eclipse right there. Hitsugaya sword from Bleach. We're not sure which one is Hitsugaya. Any long swords? Yes, we do have long swords, Hartsmith. Heart smithy. We uh, we actually did not cut with any today, but we have cut with a Cloud Hammer SX 105V longsword. Price range we started it out at seventy and go up into the thousands. Best katana shop in Richmond, yes, and also the worst by default. <laughs> what does the size of the sword matter? Well, if you ask her, no. Or about you know, it's the way you use it. <laughs> John Wick will kill you with a sport, right? <laughs> These are only for decoration. Apparently, you didn't watch us cutting with it. Age recommendation for real sword? Is there an age limit for purchase? That really depends on someone's maturity. Uh, we will not sell to minors without a per per parent. Yeah. yeah, minor can't come in here. These minors. aren't swords. Whatever you say, man. You weren't watching us cut, apparently. <laughs> Dumbass. Uh, do you ship? Because I'm from Hawaii. We do ship to Hawaii, but it's a little bit expensive. What do I use to clean your sword? Really, all you need is microfiber. But we do have cleaning kits, which have all the stuff you need. What do we talk about? Ember waves. Do we still have ember waves? It's been a hot minute since uh, I've seen Ember Waves. Ember Waves. Ember Waves. I thought, is that the Dark Eclipse the same one? Didn't you have like the same different names for the same one? Yeah. What's your store called? It's at RVA Katana, rvacatana.com. Are they quality or just for show? We were just cutting with them, if that gave you anything. You know, we were just cutting with several of these swords. And a lot of them are very diverse. Yes, we do have the reverse blade. I want one, but I have no idea where to start or find a good deal. Well, come talk to us and we can tell you. Emma, we do have Emma. Something antique. We actually just got in a 500-year-old Taira Takata in Koshirai. Both of them paper. Both the Koshirai and the blade are paper. Here is the Sakabato right here. So we need to save a T10 because someone ordered it. T10 Sakabato? Yep. Demon Slayer blade over there. All black, black blade and all. We do have some like that. Best hard target cutter. Probably the Reaper, um, the Vortex. These are all good. Oh, Cloud Hammer SX 105V, Cloud Hammer 51 CRV4 are all excellent hard cutters. Cloud Hammer S5. The Blue Eye Samurai. They're going to be shipping. I think they're going to be shipping a batch at the end of this week. The most expensive one we have in here is actually that 500 year old Taita Takata for 5,500. White one on the top shelf left. That is Inosuke sword. I assume you mean up there. That is Inosuke sword. Self-defense? Um, I mean, I guess you could, but there are better things like self-defense. Just missed it. It showed a completely black one like five minutes ago. Yeah, we did. I'll say all black ones. Game of Thrones. We do have we do have a Jon Snow sword right here. Long claw. Long claw. Like a long claw version of long claw. Once again, go to rvakatana.com. Sanji sword one piece. I don't think we have that one. Show the really big big one. How much is the Trafalgar Law? Is it handmade? It is handmade, but with power. with power tools. So we do have Trafalgar Law. It's 150. Reverse blade is 200 and, or 175 for MN65, 275 for T10. Are you still cutting? Yeah. 
So Mark is cutting in the background. Whoever the jerk was who said they aren't real swords and can't cut, well, Mark is cutting in the background. We, we don't, yeah, might as well make the most of our money. Um, Buster sword? We, yeah. No, we don't do it. No Ottoman swords. Sure. Long claw, I believe, is 450. Yeah. The Wado Ichimonji, we don't have Orchrist. Uh, can you show the antique? Here is, I think I just stepped on one of your beads, by the way. All Here's an all black. This is the Death Plum, I think. Either the Night Raptor or the Death Plum. The Raptor. Ragnar Lothbrook sword. We don't have. We do have. We do have some so-called Viking swords. Uh, Keyblade. We don't have. We do have a scimitar here. Once again, go to our website RVA Katana, and you can see a lot of our stock. Christian Samurai Katana. We are out of, except for the S7, I believe. I'll show you what's like. We have a new one coming in, uh, which we, we will soon have come in this is the prototype please show sanami sword from demon slayer we didn't get a good look when you showed the section okay we can do that, sure, we can do that. Take oh minute, chad I, I saw the picture of you doing that by the way chad where in rva are we we're on carry street near vcu 1909 west carry i'm gonna go ahead and show sanami once again visit our website rvakatana.com so you can see what we got Best deal for katana depends on what you want to do. Best for what? Cutting, cutting. What? Harder, soft targets. A little bit of both. Yeah. Sting and which? Which are no. Let's see. Toledo steel katana with lotus flower on handle. I don't think we have that. No. Yeah. Berserker blade. No. Rengoku. We can show Rengoku. Odin from One Piece. We have some. I don't recall if we have that or not. We have a bunch of One Piece swords. Trafalgar Law. I'm in Ohabakiri. We have a bunch of them. Is there no price at all that would make you consider is I'm willing to put a down payment on it? Which one, Koro Sensei? Any Chinese sword? We do. Oh, this came back. Can any sword cut? We were just cutting. Here's oh, Moonveil yeah. Moon right Bale here from uh, Elden Ring. Berserker, no. Are they built for use? Yes, we were just cutting. Do they make katana with S90V? We don't. We have SX105V, but not S90V. Most expensive sword in the shop is a 5500 or $5,500 500 year old sword. Say 500 years old? William Wallace sword. We have some claymores here. I mean, sorry, Scottish Highlander swords. Can you show a close up of the Tibetan ceremonial ritual deck? Oh, yeah, I'd love to. Yeah. Man, we're just, we got 400 some people on here, so it's going fast. Sure Any whispers over, from overseas about Cloud Hammer designs? Um, you know, basically the ones we're getting are things I've designed. Here's one of the ritual daggers. Really cool, really pretty. Valdos Daga, never heard of it. Best for hard cutting targets. Cloud Hammer, uh, Valdosta, 51. Georgia. That's what he says. Oh, yeah, that's what it was. <laughs> <laughs> we are not, we are located in Richmond, Virginia. Demon Slayer, but Demon Slayer Butterfly could cut them up. Hard cut, hard target, um, Cloud Hammers are going to be your best hard targets because they don't have razor sharp blades. They're generally yeah. really good. Oh, we, we might. Up. What did somebody want to see, John, with Demon Slayer? Uh, Rengoku. You can go ahead and cut it. You just have your own fun. They are actually sharp. Yes, Mark is in the background cutting with some swords. Yeah, I'm finishing off the scraps. We do not have Zuko sword from Avatar. We do have Zatoichi swords right over here. This is the day when we need multiple cameras going. I know, right? Or multiple people. Uh, let's see. Highlander Katana, we do not have. Chinese straight swords, we have some here over on that rack. Uh, where the new Phoenix Arms came in uh, with a transitional tip. No, we don't have any like that. The Kogarasu, that is? Could I use any sword? Actually, yes, we do have Kogarasu. Where is it? Where? I don't know. Where would you do with them? <laughs> so, yeah, we do have some Kogarasu right, that came right, in. Right, right. Uh, let's see. This one just came in. We don't chop fruits. Chopping one. fruits is bad for swords. This is one of the Kogorasa style. This is sort of a, the sword you would have seen starting around 700 AD. And we actually will bring it down a little lower. I got it. So you can see the tip. This one is an 65 MN sword. Yeah, 65 MN. 175. Post to Malaysia. Not sure. How much are the daggers? I think there are $200. Yeah. We do not have in the UK. Oh, this thing. This is new. Kore, Homono Denayo. Homono Tika. Do you mean, sorry? 
Tamahagane, we do have some antique Tamahagane swords. I want an onion. You want it? Ah, sa. Uh, let's see. Yes, we're in Richmond, Virginia. We don't have Muramasa or Honda Masamune. Uh, modern Tanto tomorrow. Awesome. Do you have any Zoro swords? We have a lot of them. We're at that thing where it's just going so fast. Shisui, Abinokini, Black. We don't make the Buster Sword, Koro Sensei. Zoro Swords here. Vintage military weapons. We do have a handful. Go to our website, rvakatana.com, and look for antiques. We do have a handful that were on consignment. Some military sabers. No Muramasa, no Masamune. Ever traveled to Japan? Scott's lived in Japan. I've lived in Japan. Both of our wives are Japanese. Website on bio? Yes. rvakatana.com. rvakatana.com. Can, do you have Kokushiba? We have Kokushiba right here. Any hand, grenade? Only the holy hand grenade. <laughs> we do not have Toji's. Any cursed blades at all? Only if we curse at them. <laughs> that is now a cursed blade. This is an eight series. You lazy <laughs> SLB. <laughs> Sasuke sword, we just sold out of. We we have one in the back that uh, someone ordered online, but here's the white grass cutter. We sold the, the uh, red one. Dragon head hilt, we don't have. Afro samurai, we are waiting. It should be very earlier. Kratos, I did see about the samurai. I don't remember how much it costs, Kratos, but I will check. Which one? Samurai. The Nidaiki Tetsu. Uh, suppose that's my Afro samurai, but we're out. There's Nidaiki Tetsu right there. Once again, go to our website, rvakatana.com, and you will see all our stuff. I wish we could put like, a little sticker in the corner with that on the Bleach swords over here. He can do it everywhere. Like, on, uh, on the line, though? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Obani, no. Kim, Kim we did have Shisui. Here's the Kim, Kimpachi. Can your wives use these swords? Trust me, wife. my wife has sometimes thought about it. We can ship to Australia, but if you live in Victoria, you need a permit. Demon Slayer Blades, right over there in the back. We have about eight or nine of them right there. No Conan the Barbarian Sword. No, Black Zombie, have no idea. I need to follow up on that and find out what's going on. They are sharp, yes. The most expensive one that we have is a 500-year-old antique. Shinobu is right there. Um, let's see. Yep, right there in the middle. Shinobu. Tamahagane Blades, we have. We had some from Cloud Hammer, but we are sold out. We do have some antique targets. We don't have Ned Stark's sword. Wind Hashira. I don't remember which one the Wind Hashira is. Is that Gyu? Where's Gyu? Oh. Sokka sword? We do have Sokka sword. We'll show the Sokka sword. No Spartan blades. Um, what did I just say? Oh, Cloud, here's Sokka sword. This is our, our uh, basic one. No, these are functional swords. These are not wall hangers. We were just cutting about... 10 minutes ago. Show Tommy's graph. Yeah, so here you'll see Mark cleaning up from our cutting session. We were just cutting. Those are the remains of all, all of our targets. This is about 40% uh, of what we Sanemi. Oh, oh Sanemi is the wind Hashira. Oh, okay. I didn't. I, oh, now we know. Now we know, but we'll forget all about it. There's a Sanemi right there. 500 year old antique. Yeah, we have one. Let's see. You can go ahead and let's slow down a little bit. You want to go ahead and show the antique? So we're going to show the antique now. It just takes us a while to get there. Where can you find the Muramasa? Uh, maybe in someone's you know, garage. I have no idea. <sighs> Koro Sensei, you can quit about the Buster Sword, man. We're we can't get it. <laughs> the Buster Sword would weigh like hundreds of pounds, dude. We, yeah, we can't get it. What country are you in for shipping? We're in the United States, in Richmond, Virginia. Number one cutting sword is probably the Reaper. Look on our website, rvakatana.com, and look up Reaper. Inosuke, we do have Inosuke. Here's the 500-year-old sword right here. We don't have blade swords. Afro Samurai, we do have it in, uh, at times. We don't have it right now. Here, I'll, I'll stop. Yes, we do have Zoro swords. We do not have Cossack swords. Can I buy a Sokka sword? Yes, go to our website, RVA Katana, and look up Sokka. We do have it. This one is $5,500. 500-year-old sword. The blade and the fittings are certified, which is to say they are authenticated. 
Besides Cloudhammer, are any other forges working with SX-105E? One forge claims they are, but they lie about what kind of steel they use. I won't name them. You know who that is. Do you have the snake sword from Naruto? No. Zoro swords right over there. Oh, can you check the other, since you're there, the other uh, Nihonto, the other Katana Nihonto, and shake it around and see how loose it is? Someone was asking. It's pretty loose, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Let's see. Shisui is right there somewhere. I, where is it? I don't see it. We do have Shisui right there. No spears. Favorite best value underdog sword? Hmm. Probably the Moritaka Vortex. That's the best value in the house. The boob tanto is at our house or in the shop? The boob tanto. Oh, the uh, the kite cam. It's sold. I just shipped it out today. The, the kite can. <laughs> That's great. I mean, literally, it is a boob sword. If you want to translate it very directly, kai kai da yo kai yane. Nani yuto ne amai. We all know how you love boob swords. Most expensive Scott just showed it is a 500 year old antique Tara Takara. We don't have a bani sword. Muramase Muramase Murasame sword from Akame. No Ichigo Bankai. We do have. That is uh, Irish dagger, I believe. Irish dagger. Any chance of getting red Naginata Daisho again? Warren Nass. I think we have some on the way, and they're just stuck in customs right now. Katana, right? Blue Saya on the Death Turtle Rack. Zatoichi Blind. Yes, we do have it. Go to our website, RVA Katana, and look up Zatoichi. We do have it. Uh, did you, you already showed the, the Zatoichi, didn't you, Scott? Yeah. Here is the blue. This is a blue ray skin. Really pretty. With ox horn reinforced, isn't that pretty? Hokusai, North Star? Hokusai is in the artist? Isn't that Hokusai? No, that's cabbage. Hokusai. Oh, that's right. Kanagawa. Uh, can I see the brown one up top? Not sure what we've moved around, so I'm not sure where you are. Scimitar, there's a scimitar on the wall right there. Yeah, Warren asks, I think we will be getting it, but I'm not sure where it is. Do you sell Japanese style swords? I mean, yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, we don't. <laughs> yeah. We, we only have about 400 Japanese style swords in here. Yeah, we're all out. It's in my pocket. I have something at different price points. How much for that blue ray skin? How much is that? Six, maybe six, five, 575 for that one. Did you show the blade? It's just really pretty. It's a really pretty sword. Really nice tsuba. Very nice, crisp casting. And it has a really gorgeous hum onto them. The UK, uh, there are issues. No schlagers. Are those swords? You just ordered. Awesome, TSTU. Tis, 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 there is a Naginata right there. Crescent tipped blades. We do not. Website is rvakatana.com. rvakatana.com. We're in Richmond, Virginia. What is the strongest blade sword that you have? We currently, we carry S5 shock steel swords, but we are currently out of stock. It's pretty much the strongest stuff on the planet right now to make swords out of. Any cloud style swords, what do you mean by that? Shira Shira styles, we are out of, but we do carry them. We're currently out of them. We sold out. They're actually in, that's part of the package that's stuck in customs right now. Ooh. Slow down the. Oh, nope, here we come again. No Kill Bill swords. Shinobu White. I'm not sure what that is. Mid Can I see the Middle Eastern section? We only have one Middle Eastern sword. That's Scimitar right there. It's the only Middle Eastern sword we currently have in stock. Yeah, I have a Shamshir. No Kill Bill. We did have a Shamshir. That long staff blade, the Naginata, is $400. It is not on our website, but if you're interested, send me a message at rvakatana.com. Yeah, the Shashka is a uh, Middle Eastern sword. How much for Hugh Long Swords? Not sure what a Hugh Long Sword is. We need to ask for Mark. Best for a thousand. I mean, I don't think we have any thousand dollar swords right now. Something cloud hammer. Well, yeah, we currently don't have any cloud hammer. Someone wants to see uh, the Zatoichi again. <laughs> Zatoichi stick sword here. Tanjiro, we'll show the Tanjiro in a moment. Here's Zatoichi stick sword. The only thing you guys are missing is a shop mascot. We do have a shop mascot. It's Scott. <laughs> it's one of us. It's one of us. The balding fat guy from New Jersey with a bad attitude. Something 250 <laughs> that's nice. Uh, again, 250 that's nice. Go look up Morty Taka on our website. RVAKatana.com. Morty Taka. Tanjiro sword. Tanjiro. Tanjiro. Can you show the Tanjiro sword? Oh. <laughs> Morty Taka. M O R I T A K A. 
Do we have any Viking swords left right now? Yeah. Yeah, we do have a Viking sword. The Tinker. Some people will die on a hill saying it's a Carolinian sword. We do have Emma. Oh. Emma right there. I'm almost done with Vikings. Man, seven seasons. Oh, so you're still, you're still watching it. It's long. No samurai armor, but we're getting some. Black Tachi on the top of the Tachi rack. What steel are they made from? All kinds of steel. We have 1045 for some of the anime swords. 1060, 1095, T10, SX105V, 51 CRV4, 9260. Tamahogany. We current we do have some Tamahogany antiques, so we have a lot of them. Top of the Tachi rack is right there. This is a two hundred and twenty-five dollars sword right over in this. We love this. this. We had fun cutting with this. This was a great sword to cut with. Which one? Oh yeah, that guy. And these are these are functional swords. Full them. tang. Yes, we just cut a minute a moment ago. All wooden on the top middle shelf, please. All wooden. Uh, not sure which one you are referring to. Let me see. Ship to the UK. The problem with shipping to the UK is that customs will seize them. Claymores, yes. Or, uh, well, Scottish Highlanders, if you really... Oh, there's Ninja Gaiden. Bizarre Inquiry. Do you know if a good source of war side style glaives? We do not. There's a Claymore right there, and we have another Claymore over here. It's two different Claymores. Sorry. Just got, I'm getting the evil eye, the stink eye. What was the name of the last one? Sorry, we're kind of... That was from Ninja Gaiden. Ninja Gaiden, maybe? We do not have the Berserk Sword. What steel would you recommend if it was for a true battle? S5. Shisui, we have Shisui right here. The green one he just had is the Court Tachi. Court Tachi, T-A-C-H-I. This is Sparta! I thought you weren't allowed to uh, carry... Other uh, side, top of the Tachi rack. This is a, um, what do you call it? Right there, that is a military saver, Ryan. Court is where you're going and you keep fighting me on that mark. Sorry for the double send. No worries, man. Did you oil those swords, Mark? I'm oiling them right now. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah. Can you show the Ogami Ito? Hello, do you sell the mats? We can, as long as we have extra stock, we can sell them. So we do have some extra stock right now. They're $10 rolled or $175 for a large roll that makes 21 to 22. There's the Ogami Ito right there. With It also has the thingy on it, Kozuka. Any anime ones? We have tons of anime ones here. Literally tons. <laughs> Literally tons. We probably have over 2,000 pounds of them. Yeah. That makes sense. That would probably make at least uh, about what? Maybe. Yagyu style Ito wrapped handles. No. No. So UK is hard to get into. Maintenance kits, we definitely have those. Check our website, rvakatana.com. I followed y'all. I need to bounce, but commend y'all's business. Thank you, Mar. Okay, yeah, the green one was a touchy. Someone was asking to see bleach swords. So here are our bleach swords over here. So we have, yeah. Was that greenish one a touchy? Yes, it's called the court touchy. Do you have any offhand? What do you mean by that? We clearly have lots of swords here. Like an offhand sword, like a secondary sword? Oh, a second sword? Like a Mangosh, you mean? Yeah. Mangosh. Mangosh. Hiroyuki Sanada is so badass, they had to have him in John Wick 4 before Shogun. Hiroyuki, yeah, that's pretty good. He's one of our favorites. He's really good at that. He's really good at that. Do you have any blades with color? Yes. BOCs. BWCs. Blade with colors. <laughs> the most badass one, I think that's all up to uh, things. We don't have any S5 Katana in stock. We're waiting for Cloudhammer to send us our next shipment. I would say either my Shisui or my S7 are the most badass. But I'm biased. You are biased. That's super though. Do you basically spend all your profits on swords for yourself? It's pretty much. Fun. Kind of. I mean, basically, all our profits get reinvested back into the swords. Yeah, we don't do this for a living. We just build more racks. Do you make the blades or are they manufactured? What do you mean by that? We import them. We import them. Do you just have katana? No, we just showed long swords, um, Scottish Highlander, i.e. Claymore, um, <laughs> Chinese, John, swords, swords Chinese swords. We have a lot of different types of swords. All swords matter. All swords matter. Why does Inosuke swords have leather sheath takes away from the authenticity? Uh, you can't ship it. You can't ship yeah, it I was going to say, I mean, you could, you could leave it bare if you wanted to, but you could have the sheath. You don't have to use the sheath. Needs the same as the does, wooden one. Does he mostly not have it? Yeah, well, yeah, because he puts like two of them magically on his back and not supposed to ask questions. Oh. Okay. Do you got a catapult? Yes. It's uh, gas powered, and Scott usually provides the gas. I got a trebuchet, trebuchet right here. German long swords. Well, we got long swords. We got long swords, but. Well, they're not in German. Well, yeah, but right. There you go. 
the Rhin Rhinelander. There we go. This is a bat ring ring uh, hilted broadsword or sorry, a longsword. Like, are they genuine folded Tag steel market. made from molds? Molds? <laughs> uh, genuine folded steel. We do have folded steel swords. Yeah, right over there. Yeah. Tangan. I will know unless you mean Tengen. We have Tengen's double, two different types of Tengen's cleavers right there. Hiroyuki Sonata is one of my favorites. Me too, Jill. Do you have DMC swords? Yeah, we have a uh, DMC three and we have the Yamato over here. We have three different versions of the Yamato, but currently only one. Any lightsabers? No. no. They are full tank. Strictly speaking, lightsaber dark swords. Nothing Lord of the Rings. Price ranges from $70. No halberds. Man, Your SKS3 wish. order says sold out. Hey, Scott, can you increase the SKS3 pre-order? Okay. Yep. Uh, let's see. No Hattori Hanzo sword. Demon Slayer swords right here. Game of Thrones swords. We have a we have a Jon Snow. This is made of Damascus by pattern welded steel. Do you have one with history for collectors? We do. The Demon Slayer swords are 150. Go to our website rvakatana.com and you'll see all the information there. rvakatana.com. You will you will see all. Okay, it's, it's there hmm? yeah. okay the SKS3 pre-orders are back up up again. Do you have daggers, kukuris? We do have some modern kukuri. Scottish dagger, Irish dagger. Yes, it is in U.S. dollars. We are in Richmond, Virginia. In the U.S. of A. In the U.S. of A. In Virginia. Can I see the Viking sword or the Carolinian as if Scott is or if Chad is here? Or uh, an early Germanic sword. Do the samurais have double edges? Some of them do. Okay, How much does a normal katana cost? It really depends. What is your definition of normal? Yeah, that is that is the important question. So yeah, for those of you who missed it, the SKS3, we have up the numbers. We can still get more. What is our total count on that? I think I've ordered pre-ordered 15, but I might have to raise it up to 20. I've had three more than half, half done before. Tell Travis to do a backflip. There's no Travis's here, but hey, Travis, do a backflip. Back Travis. Travis, our uh, security ninja. Oh, okay. Where are these sourced? Um, Longchen, China, uh, Vietnam, Japan, Thailand. Thailand. We got them from a lot of different places. Mm -hmm. Yep. Anything else you guys want to see? Fastest sword versus slowest sword. I think that's all a matter of handling. I mean, yeah, hard to say. That's a, that's a skill issue. Shinobu is right here. He, uh, the one with the butterfly. Yeah, that, down, down, down. Up, up. The yeah. one I was just pointing. Yeah. 12, 12 SKS, John. 12 SKS, okay. What is exactly you'd expect to have a collection of katana swords? Dorks. Yes. Yeah. We wear that with a badge. By the way, this isn't a collection. This is a shop, so we sell these guys. So... We are dorks who make money off selling swords. What more could you ask for? You have no answers. Bye. Okay. See ya. Later, bro. I don't, have, I don't even know what he asked. On the way out. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> you want everything, Mark? Yeah. All right. Everything we got. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. What is your most expensive sword? Uh, it is an antique, 500 year old antique for 5,500. I was wondering if katanas are made by a smith or blades are made in a blade mold. They're not made in a blade mold, no. No, that is not how you make any sword. Yeah. Do you have any copper detailed battle swords? No. Gladiator? We have a Gladius. Zoro sword from One Piece over here. Mine's Gladius. Show the green Tachi. There's the Gladius. Mangan. Main camp. I don't know that's it, actually. Here is, oops, sorry, the court tachi. So why is it the court tachi? Because this is the sort of thing, this, this very gaudy, something you would take to court. I need an SX-105 Emma. Yes, so do I. Do you guys have any core-wrapped katana blades? What do you mean core-wrapped? As in the full Samegawa wrap? We do have a handful here. Do you have Ragnar sword from Vikings? No. Nope. Achilles sword? No. I can't even think of what Ragnar sword looked like. It didn't stand out. They didn't really. There you go. Yeah, I was gonna say. I noticed a lot of them that had pommels that looked like that in Vikings. That's because it was very common. Any interest in blunt weaponry? Not really. Cheapest sword is a seventy dollars. The gold plum for the for a functional sword. Oh, it's actually on the back. But that's all right. We do have one. It's called the gold plum. No, it's right here. Oh, okay. I, I take it back. Leo's katana from TMNT. No, we don't have it. So this is our least expensive. It's seventy. But we cut with it earlier today. Thank you.
Anything else you people want to see? We're going to shut it down, even though it's pretty busy, but it's getting late, and these guys turn into pumpkins. Yeah. So we will be shutting down in a few minutes, but take a few more questions. Tanjiro and Zenitsu, we can show that. I need, I need an orange shirt so I can be like, pumpkin. Tanjiro, Zenitsu. Tanjiro, uh, yep, yeah, there's Tanjiro sword. We have both his first generation and his last generation. We do have sword canes. Yes, they do cut. They're all sharp and full tang. Go to our website, rvakatana.com. This is great. Don't you wish you could have a, little, a bot to answer some of those questions? Like, are they sharp? Yes, our swords are sharp. You guys, you kind of have a Sephiroth sword there. What is the Nagasa length of that giant Nodachi? 47 inches. 47 inches. It's on Cloudhammer's website. It's sub-12. Uh, sub I mean, Sephiroth didn't have patchy fittings on his sword, but who's counting, right? Best sword in the $250 range. Go to Moritaka, M-O-R-I-T-A-K-A -A on rvakatana.com. Moritaka. Someone wants to see the sword king. Sword king? Yeah, Inosuke, but here. We'll show the Inosuke sword because we're right here. Everyone's not taking, tired. Not, not, not in order of... Uh, Thanks, Steve, for all your hard work, by the way. Good night, Warren. Sword of the Month program, guys. Come on. <laughs> sword of the Month? Like, what do you mean? The Sword of the Month club. Zenitsu is right there. Oh, sword cane over here. We have two different types. John, getting distracted over here. Sword cane. Uh, That's the one with the, with the bell, or what do you call that? A ball? Whatever. Doorknob. Doorknob. And then we have one with a different, more classical handle. Crook. Thank you, Jill. Sharpest okay. sword? No idea. We have 500 different types of sword. Sharpness doesn't really matter as much as how well it holds an edge. Yep. Core as in Kobuse Forge Blade. Do we have... We have some Sanmai right now. I don't think we have any Kobuse. We have had Kobuse, but I don't, we currently do not. Uh, can you show us any sword over here? Shipping lead time. We try to get it. It depends on when you order, but we try to ship within two days. Uh, yeah. You can be taught. <laughs> I can be taught. <laughs> like anything you ordered, anyone who ordered tonight, I'm going to ship them. Well, Scott will ship them tomorrow. One of us will ship them tomorrow. Scott's like, I'm going to what now? Is it illegal to have one in the UK? Some things, yes. Uh, kind of. It's very hazy, the rules. Yeah. And very arbitrarily enforced is yeah, the problem. Bishop Parliament, maybe they'll change something. Thank you, Adrian. Okay. Do you ever get one that looks futuristic? Yeah, a thousand demon daggers. Yeah, I call this the cyberpunk sword. The cyberpunk sword, the thousand demon daggers right I mean, there. Let me look at this thing. Atlantean sword? No. Do you guys have Odati? Yes, we do. Yeah. One right up there. There's our giant one up there, plus several in the back made of spring steel. Go to our website, RVA Katana, and look up Odati, and you'll see it. Once again, people, rvakatana.com. Also join our Discord, discord.gg backslash RVA Katana. If one of the mods could post our Discord, we would appreciate it. Thank you. And uh, join our Discord. Are they metal or plastic? They are metal. metal. We do have some wooden swords, by the way. If you buy any real sword, you can get one of these Demon Slayer swords for half off. 17 bucks. One seven. $17. Yeah. If you buy a real sword, you can get one of these for 17 But these are these are wood and they have plastic fittings. Thank you, Kratos. And Kratos, I will look into the price of that sword. Is your business good? I think so. That's a pretty decent Buster sword, no. Tanto, we have a whole wall of Tanto right over here. The Great Wall of Tanto. All right, we're shutting down. Good night, good night. Thank you all for joining in. Good night, guys. And good night, Moon. Shutting down here and on uh, YouTube, but thank you all for joining in. Ah, sorry. Uh, no. <laughs>